To date, more than 10,000 Arizonans have died from COVID, and while many who get the virus will recover, those deaths are putting a strain not only on hospitals, but also on the funeral home system. Team 12's Colleen Socorro joins us tonight with those details. Moms, dads, beloved coaches, good friends, 10,482 Arizonans have died from COVID-19. Deaths from the virus have followed the trend of new infections rising since November. While other Valley hospitals say they have room, Banner Health has had to add extra morgue space. The hospital system bringing in two refrigerator trucks last month to help handle the number of people dying. At this time, our morgue capacity is very high. One currently is at Banner University Medical Center, a spokesperson telling 12 News in the last five days, two thirds of the bodies they're storing are COVID positive. The deaths now overwhelming Arizona funeral homes. And with us being inundated with volume of business, shared by me and my colleagues, we're just seeing this ramp up. Ethan Bueller, a funeral home director in Mesa and president of the AFCCA, says the winter months are usually their busy season and COVID-19 deaths have added to it. He says the biggest problem is death certificates not being signed on time. If these doctors would sign death certificates in a timely fashion, we can get it through the next phase and the next step. It's a complaint Maricopa County's Vital Records Office has heard too. Arizona law requires a death certificate to be signed within three days. Bueller says it started to take longer back in November. And while he knows the health care system is overwhelmed, families are feeling the effects. Because we're having this backlog, now I have several families waiting in line to schedule a burial, to have cremation, to have something done and have their loved one at rest. Colleen Sikora, 12 News. All right, Colleen, thank you.